What is going on everybody, Zonic here, and in today's video we have a legend run here from none other than Zare Felrose. I'll have a link to his channel down in the description, but utilizing the team of Skeleters, Superior, and Dugong to get there in the Great League. This is going to be a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys think about the team. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, getting into the first battle here. We have Skeleters on the lead versus Superior. Okay, so really positive lead right here as we do see them swap out now into Gligar, which is again another very positive mid-game matchup as well for Dugong. And Dugong this season, I think, has probably been the MVP on everyone's team. It is so, so good good in this meta with the drill run update so we will see it look to probably commit to the farm down right here no need to shield as well and this is what's so dangerous about the dugong is after getting a nice healthy farm down here it has back-to-back -back icy winds for superior which is going to be able to land both um, because of the amount of health that it does have left so this is going to be applying a lot of damage and a lot of ta attack debuffs as well. So let's see how the opponent decides to play it out. They're going to go ahead and no shield both of them. Skeledurge can easily come back in as we do see a swap now into Carbink. And uh, well, Superior is going to take that one. This is a good game. Triple hard counter right here to start things off. As Superior can easily take this one with Vine Whip and Frenzy Plan as the opponent does decide to surrender. All right, moving to the next one, we have Skeleters versus Steelix on the lead. Another nice lead here because of the incinerate damage, but let's see what the opponent decides to do. They decide to swap out in a Tapu Fini, so Superior is going to go ahead and hit instant. Wow. Okay. We are chucking through these games. Nitto Queen here on the lead. Another nice lead because uh, I'm just liking the lead combinations here with Skeleters and the great coverage in the back. This team actually looks really nice. As they're going to go ahead and go for Shadow Ball and Skeleters hits like a truck. Like, let's be honest. A Fire Crocodile is going to do that as they do get a shield. And we do see a swap now into Dugong here to keep the Skeleters alive as the opponent might be core broken because they decided to stay in with Nidal Queen, as we will see the Icy Wind farm down and the uh, Bassudon swap in here. So thankfully, Dugong does have access to the Drill Run here for super effective damage, which is going to be really nice, but Bassudon should be able to farm down before Dugong gets to three Drill Runs, which is what's going to be needed um, in order to uh, KO the Bassudon. So no shield probably here as uh, Bastion can easily farm down. And now we will probably see the Superior come in and look to get a healthy farm down, which is exactly what we're seeing. They could also no shield. Flamethrower doesn't do that much damage and Superior is kind of tanky. Yeah, that's exactly what he's gonna do. And then now commit to that hard farm down with Vine Whip. This is so deadly right here as they do. Oh, almost able to get the full farm down. They're gonna be forced to shield, unfortunately. And this Nidoqueen Queen might have a Poison Fang ready to go. So we gotta watch out for that. As we do see, let's see what decides to come in. It is going to be Medicham here. So, obviously, Skeleters now core breaking right against the Medicham and Nidoqueen. Queen. So, thankfully, Frenzy Plant does a ton of damage as we will see them look to go for an Aerial Ace here. And then Skeleters is just going to clean this up really nicely with uh, Incinerate and its typing as they do Counter Swap now to catch the Charge move which they were able to catch the Ice Punch. That's huge as they can... Oh, even better, Power Up Punch. That did absolutely no damage as a Nidoqueen Queen comes in and is just going to get fast moved down right here. The opponent really can't do anything. They got to watch out for Earth Power, so they're going to go ahead and shield, and it was a huge shield right there. But they can safely fully farm down, and they have double disarming voice now for Medicham in the back. Now, Medicham as well, I don't think has enough for a Psychic in order to win, so we will see the back-to-back -back disarming voice to uh, win this game. So Skeleters looking very clutch in this meta, core breaking a lot of teams. Um, and obviously Dugong and Superior are just extremely meta and extremely strong, so good game, very well played. All right, moving into the next one, we have Skeleters on the lead versus Lantern. Here we go. Bad lead matchup and core broken, honestly. So we will see Dugong come in anyways, as they can fight back with Drill Run. And this now um, gives the opponent a tough decision to make. Do they stay in with the Lantern or will they eventually swap out? As Thunderbolt will be shielded by the Dugong. Now we're going to see a uh, Drill Run 
come through right here. It's not going to be enough to KO Lantern, but it does do a good amount of damage. And they shield. They must be core broken by uh, Dugong here or have something weak in the back. So they're obviously desperately wanting to use Lantern to get rid of it. But Dugong is able to get to another drill run in time and start to get this Lantern low. And this is an opportunity here for them to obviously completely flip. And the opponent swaps and they make a beautiful throw into the icy wind now to do super effective damage and the counter swap back into Skeleturs. So this just adds insult into injury right here as Skeleturs can safely farm down and have multiple charge moves ready to go for this lantern which decided to uh, swap out. So here we go. I think they're going to be winning the CMP tie as well. Yeah, they should be. With Lantern potentially coming back in. Let's see. It does come back in. So they're going to go ahead and go for Shadow Ball first. Hoping to KO the Lantern. Let's see if they do decide to give up a shield. They do. And now they can go for Disarming Voice. They can safely shield this as well. But they're, they're, they're going to risk it. They're going to call the No Shield and survive. And able to land the Disarming Voice. This gives them the uh, Superior and Dugong to close this game out. As we will see a Venusaur in the back. Alright, so Superior can come in and uh, basically easily win this one with double Aerial Ace to close this game out. As one Sludge Bomb shouldn't be enough to KO a Superior. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be enough. So they can either, they might want to swap to catch. Let's see. Here we go. Nope. They're going to go ahead and uh, probably shield right here. Sludge Bomb actually might be enough to KO. They do get a Frenzy Plant Shield Bait, but they do have the Aerial Ace anyway, so that is going to be a good game, very well played. So, playing it safe there with giving the Superior the uh, Shield. So, good game. Alright, moving to the next one. We have Skeletor on the lead versus Hippowdon. Very interesting. Let's see what fast move it has access to. It is going to be Ice Fang, so that is definitely not doing a lot of damage. Actually, it kind of is. It's really starting to add up, but Disarming Voice here. Going to be putting a lot of pressure on the Hippowdon as they uh, actually decide to no shield and counter swap now into Dugong to get the farm down, but a Body Slam. I think this probably is going to be Body Slam. Maybe, uh, no, it's going to be the Earth Power. Okay, they did have enough as they will. Does it have Body Slam? No, it's uh, Weather Ball. I think it's Weather Ball. Anyways. Earth Power landed instead. Whimsicott comes in. This is an extremely spicy team, but Dugong obviously in a very good position here with Ice Shard and Icy Wind, both of which are legacy moves to uh, take out the Whimsicott. They could easily shield this if they want to and then probably commit to the hard farm down with Ice Shard. So they maintain Switch and there's a Drift Blend in the back. Yeah, no wonder they decided to come in. They are definitely core broken here by this Dugong. And uh, they do get a shield as well. So let's see if this Dugong is just going to take it all the way. I think the call here is to take the... Yeah, definitely go in deep into shields. Because they can uh, come in with Skeledurge. And maybe look to get to a, uh, a Shadow Ball. Before the opponent gets to a Shadow Ball in that mirror match right there. So Icy Wind does get shield number two. So all shields are down. Will we see a swap out? No swap out here. As the opponent's going to decide to go for Mystical Fire to take out the Dugong. And now it's gonna be a race to the charge move. Who is gonna get there in time? They decide to come in with Superior anyways. And then, uh, well, I guess Aerial Ace kinda closes. Either way, Skeledurge is winning this one. I'm sorry, Whimsicott, but you're just gonna get destroyed by the Skeledurge as uh, they decide to swap out into Whimsicott, which is totally fine. They decide to undercharge as well. This is because he's probably gonna be counter swapping. There it is, the counter swap into Skeledurge to farm down. And now it's going to be a race to the uh, Shadow Ball to see if they can get to it in time. And they do. So Skeletors will be taking that one. And that is going to be a good game. Very well played. This team, boom, is cooking today. All right, moving into the next one. We have Skeletors on the lead versus Medicham. Very good lead again. Medicham, a nice Pokemon to be facing off against. As a Steelix decides to come in. So Steelix is going to be having a tough time with uh, Skeletors as they decide to no shield the first breaking swipe here. Not going to do that much damage, but they will need to swap out at some point. They really can't stay in here long. And uh, Dugong could come in and farm down, but let's see how they decide to play it. No, they're going to come in with Superior right here for this matchup and save the Dugong uh, for later on. Maybe there's something weak in the back to it. 
But uh, Breaking Swipe here. Going to be chipping away the health of the Superior, but they got to go for Frenzy Plant before another Breaking Swipe goes through. Otherwise, Steelix would probably survive, and it might actually survive this Frenzy Plant. It's going to be close. They do survive, so they are able to farm down as well, which is huge. Metacham coming in. They have super effective damage with Aerial Ace now, which is going to put Metacham in a very tough position because it has to get rid of the Superior. Um, but it's not going to be able to do so very quickly as they can get to another Aerial Lace in time. And this is where Medicham might just need to commit to the farm down and not throw a charge move. Yeah, they're deciding to let it go. They will look to commit to the full farm down. Skeledurge now needs to watch out for the Psychic um, charge move here. And they're going to go ahead and respect it and give up a shield. Even though, yeah, it is going to be the Psychic. So that's a good call right there. Let's see what's in the back. It is going to be Carbink. So they did go for Disarming Voice right away, trying to catch the Medicham, but unfortunately it went into the Carbank, and now Dugong is going to be in a tough position um, because this is going to be super effective damage from both Pokemon. Now they're deciding to go for Icy Wind first to lower that attack so they can survive longer, and they get the shield. That is huge for them, and now they're safe to go for straight drill runs as the opponent is looking to land some Rock Slides right here, but Dugong going to go ahead and give up the shield, and it's going to be a matter of how much energy is on that Metacham to see who's going to be winning this game, because Skeletor's just threw the Disarming Voice into the Carbink, so it's not going to be able to get to a Disarming Voice right away. And if Metacham has, can get a couple counters in, it might be a good game. Rock Slide, not enough to KO. Switch Clock coming back up. Metacham comes back in and farms down, and this is where Metacham is going to be able to get to the charge move, and this might be the next Psychic. They did a very healthy farm down. Yeah, it is. So that's going to be, boom, a good game. Very well played. All right, moving into the next one. We got Skeledurge versus Umbreon. Okay, watch out. Dugong's got to come out onto the field right away as the opponent is deciding to swap out into Carbink. So a very bulky team on the opponent's side right now. And we'll have to see, because they don't have a hard answer to Dugong. I mean, they kind of do, right? With Carbink. But it's not like it's a Medicham back there. So it'll be very interesting to see what Pokemon number 3 is. And if uh, Superior can do well against it. Now, if I had to take a guess right here, based on what I'm seeing with Umbreon and Carbink, my guess would be either Sableye or um, uh, uh, Gligar. Sorry, Gligar back there. So they do decide to come in with Superior, and this is where you need to get a lot of energy as they can uh, give up a shield here. But Superior honestly needs to commit to this hard farm down and hope that it can farm down with Vine Whip. Let's find out because they're going to need it, what's ever in the back. I think it might be Gligar, but let's see what it's actually going to be. No, it's going to be an Alolan Marowak, the GOAT. So based on my guess of Sableye or Gligar... Um, it did make sense that, you know, there was potentially a ghost in the back and a Lolan Marowak, obviously incredibly strong. So this might be a good game. Yeah, I don't know. The goat's gonna, the goat might take this one. Yeah, and he does decide to surrender. All right, moving to the next one. We have Skeletors versus Shadow Alolan Ninetales. So this is looking to be a good lead matchup and a beautiful swap in as well. I never understand why people safe swap a Swampert. I never do. In a superior meta and with grass type Pokemon having a four times weakness, the Sludge Wave, that's why they are safe swapping with Sludge Wave, which is extremely deadly, but ultimately superior can still win this matchup as they do get a shield and they can probably farm down with Vine Whip now after this Hydro Cannon. It's gonna take five Mud Shots to get to the next Hydro Cannon. Let's see if they can do it in a time. Two, three, no. They do get the hard farm down. Take it into the ones as Alolan Ninetales comes in, and this is gonna be a charm Alolan Ninetales, and that was based on the fast move animation we saw land there, as uh, Skeledurge is just gonna come in and shred it apart with Incinerate, and it is gonna be double Mud Boy in the back, so that is why they safe swap the Swampert is they have another one. They got Mini-Me back there with, uh, and they do decide to surrender. So good game, very well played. All right, moving to the next one, we got Skeletor versus Gligar. Okay, let's see how they decide to play this out. Obviously, Dugong, a great answer, but they do, okay, they're just gonna go ahead and go into Dugong right away. They do draw out a Metacham, which is uh, very typical with a Gligar lead. And uh, Metacham right here, what's cool with the Dugong matchup is you could potentially flip it 
Um, but ultimately, you want to set up your other Pokemon to come in for a hard farm down. So we will see the back-to-back -back Icy Wind, so it lowers the attack of Metacham. So Skeledurge can he... Oh, the Dynamic Punch! Boom! Coming out of left field right there as... Uh, uh, Skeledurge here is going to want to commit to the farm down. It may not be able to, as we will see. Okay, it's definitely going to be able to now with the move set of Dynamic Punch and Ice Punch, so they can easily fully farm down, and this gives them a huge advantage in the uh, the matchup against Gligar because Gligar didn't have that much energy as it was forced to swap out right away, and this Skeledurge is at 100. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see back-to-back. -back oh, it's a Lantern comes in. Very interesting. They're going to go ahead and go for Disarming Voice now. And uh, probably look to go for a Shadow Ball right away. And this is going to be a very interesting endgame because Gligar and Superior both do a lot of damage to each other. They did get Shield Advantage, which is actually huge for the Gligar matchup. Because, again, Gligar's doing super effective damage with Aerial Ace and Wing Attack. But in the 2-1 to one Shield um, Advantage, Vine Whip and Frenzy Plant is going to be overtaking it. Especially with Superior's bulk right here. So what we're going to see now is uh, Zer Felrose look to go for Aerial Aces instead. They landed the Frenzy Plan already. That's goal number one. Goal number two now is to do as much chip damage as quickly as possible and force shields in order to take down the Gligar and have a chance against the Lantern in the end game as they go ahead and shield Aerial Ace number two. And now it's going to be a race. Who's going to get to the charge move in time? Superior is able to take it, so that 2-1 to one shield advantage was huge right here as they take out Gligar, and now they can safely go for a Frenzy Plant to close. Oh, actually, no, they might have to safe swap. Oh, they get to it just in time. Frenzy Plant does come through. And this is going to be booming right here. Boom, one shots the Lantern, and that is going to be a good game. Very well played. All right, moving to the next one. Skeletors versus Shadow Steelix once again. Let's see how they play this out. How we saw Zare do it in a previous matchup is they decided to stay in and go for one Shadow Ball and then bail out. Now, because of this timing, they might be able to swap out into Dugong. No, it was going to be CMP Tai. Okay, they can easily let this go and then come in. Oh, they're going to decide to shield. Okay, all right, deciding to stay in now. Looking to go. Yeah, they do go into Dugong now. Dugong makes a great safe swap for uh, for Steelix here. As uh, Breaking Swipe doesn't do that much damage. And they can do a lot of neutral damage. Now we do see a, uh, a Metacham swap in. So Icy wins here. Just like before, you're looking to apply those debuffs. You're looking to soften it up. You're looking to get it low. So that Skeletors can come back in and farm down. Now Pokemon number 3. We don't know what it could be. Um, could be a flyer back there. There could be a Gligar. There could be a another dynamic punch. Boom! There could be a uh, Pelipper. Pelipper makes a lot of sense with this team as well as they go ahead and go for Disarming Voice now to get rid of the Metacham before getting hit by a potential Psychic. Down it goes. And it's actually going to be Bastion on the back, completely opposite to anything that I thought this was. This is an ABA team, but Superior is going to have to try to take this one with Vine Whip and Frenzy Plan. It's going to be facing off against the Steel Gauntlet of a shiny XL flexing Bastion and a Shadow Steelix with Breaking Swipe. So this is going to be a tough one as Steelix does swap back in. They will be able to get to another Frenzy Plant in time, forcing the final shield of this game. Otherwise, Steelix goes down. Yeah, they do decide to shield. But now this is a very unique opportunity for them. Unfortunately, they're going to be uh, getting hit by the Breaking Swipe. But Switch Clock is coming back up. And let's see if they can get rid of this Steelix in time as they do throw the Frenzy Plant. Now, they also have to clear the debuff, but I, I think Bastion wins this one. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, Bastion's winning this one. There's no way around it, unfortunately, as they do swap into Skelet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. They might win. Shadow Ball right here is going to be enough neutral damage to get it low enough for the Frenzy Plant on... Yes, with that Incinerate Frenzy Plant. Come on. Yes, they got it with one HP and a Dream... Why did I ever have a doubt Superior is taking this one? Boom! See a Shiny Bastion. What a good game. If you stuck around for that one, that was very satisfying. I think that might have been the last battle 
and it was. The last battle is always the best. Huge shout out to Zare Felrose, absolutely clutching that 5 0 to win his way to legend with Skeledurge, Superior, and Dugong in the Great League. What a beautiful team. Very fun battles. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to go check out Zare Felrose's channel down in the description. And like always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.